Hey, and welcome back to CIA secret plutonium batteries abandoned in the Himalayas where they were spying on Chinese nuclear test sites. A fabulous story brought to my attention by a fabulous Patreon, so thank you. So what's this all about? Well, in the 1960s, the CIA was particularly concerned about the Chinese doing this. For some reason, the Chinese nuclear test sites could not be flown over by U-2 spy planes, and the CIA spy satellites weren't that good at the time, and they wanted to know what was going on. But to understand what they really did in this amazing story, you have to understand nuclear batteries. In the 1960s, if you wanted to power something that was off-grid, there wasn't really solar or battery technology. Okay, you know, in Britain you'd have a generator and a Land Rover would go up with a few gallons of diesel every few months. But if you were a government agency, you used one of these. This is a snap device or a plutonium powered nuclear battery. I guess it's small nuclear plutonium device, snap. These were very popular all over the world. Imagine you had a hydroelectric dam scheme in the middle of nowhere off grid and you wanted to set up a microwave link with transmitters and receivers every few tens of miles put in snap batteries. And the former Soviet Union used them all over the place to power navigation devices, buoys, and lighthouses. But that's the problem, lady. What happens when the scheme closes down, the companies go bust? Well, the nuclear batteries are just left. And a whole number of these plutonium nuclear batteries keep on turning up in wilderness sites, and they're deadly. What usually happens is some hiker finds them, sells them to a scrap dealer who cuts them open and they all die. There's many cases of abandoned nuclear technology falling into the wrong hands, especially from hospital radiology units using deadly isotopes. So back to the Himalayas or the Himalayas, however you pronounce it. In the 1960s, the CIA hired mercenary climbers to lug the snap powered monitoring devices up to the tallest peaks. The idea was to monitor Chinese nuclear testing in the valleys below. And I just love this, especially as a filmmaker. They took photographs. Here's actual pictures of a team installing a snap device up a mountain. But of course, it didn't all go swimmingly well. One of the installations had to be abandoned when the weather turned bad and the team left the nuclear battery and the CIA spying equipment in a sheltered area near the top of the mountain and came down. When they returned, it had gone. It's very unlikely it was taken by the Chinese. It was probably washed down the mountain by an avalanche or wind. But of course, they weren't going to tell people and do a cleanup operation because it was a secret mission. So this story has a bizarre and tragic end. Years later, or maybe the Indian authorities actually knew what was going on. There was a tragic disaster high up in the Himalayas where a piece of glacier fell into a lake, broke a dam, and people were killed in a flood. The locals and the Indian authorities blamed the lost snap reactor. Their theory goes that over the decades since the 1960s and the device fell off the mountain, it melted a significant part of this glacier, breaking off a chunk and causing the dam failure. India took the theory seriously enough to look for radioactivity after the dam broke. I assume that they found nothing. These devices weren't that hot. And although it was an environmental disaster, abandoning plutonium batteries in a glacier, whether it actually melted it, I doubt. But here's an interesting fact. Perseverance on Mars has a nuclear battery. When a spaceship goes to a very cold planet or goes out into the distant solar system where solar power isn't guaranteed, say on Mars one of the rovers goes into a shadow or it gets super cold covered by a dust storm, 
they have a nuclear battery on standby. And it does something else as well as producing a small amount of electricity. It keeps the electronics warm when you're really frozen in space. So if you find a slightly warm canister in a building in the middle of nowhere, leave it alone <laughs> and tell somebody. There's probably hundreds of these SNAP and other countries' nuclear batteries abandoned in our environment. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.